On What's Brewing Today, Surasa, a platform for teacher workforce development and global teacher mobility, has raised $6 million in a funding round led by Reach Capital. The round also saw participation from ETS Capital, NB Ventures, TSM Ventures and other investors. Now, the startup works closely with schools across borders to understand their specific hiring requirements, then matches highly skilled Indian teachers with these schools, ensuring both parties' needs are met. Joining me now to outline their growth plan and to tell us how they plan to use the funds raised is Rishabh Khanna, the founder and CEO of Surasa. Rishabh, thank you so much for taking time out and being here with us on Startup Street. You know, Surasa essentially helps train educators and skill them for global mobility, right? If you could explain how you help teachers, what kind of programs do you have, and what are the gaps that you're fixing or that you've identified that you're trying to solve for? Thanks. Uh, thanks, Arunuti, for having me on the show. So, uh, what we found was that teacher education majorly has been very local and this is true for different parts of the world uh, many times it's even local to the states specific uh, not just the country specific so what we realized was that while there are global teacher shortages in some parts of the world there are human resource available which can be transformed and upskilled uh, from different from other parts of the world and then this supply and demand gap could be filled could be bridged so what we did was we uh, focused on identifying what are specific skill requirements in different countries and then make Surasa's core teacher skilling framework and then start training teachers in different parts of the world to help them, uh, you know, mobilize to uh, 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 the countries with higher shortages. Right. Uh, so that, that's the core of the uh, business. And we realized that India today stands at a place where we have uh, a wonderful human resource capability and we could very easily be the world capital for human resource, specifically for teachers, and hence Surasa. So, so we could be the world capital for human resource, especially when it comes to teachers is what you're saying. But, you know, if you could quickly just outline what you'll use this fundraise for, because, you know, you're, going to, you're looking at accelerating your mission to enhance teacher quality, equip educators with global standard skills, right? If you could yeah. elaborate on your fund allocation plan at this point. Absolutely. So one of our core... Uh, uh, perspectives on businesses to start strengthening supply as well as demand, uh, you know, thereby reaching that global teacher uh, resource marketplace structure. So while on one side, we'll be spending a lot of funds on enhancing teacher quality, uh, bringing more teachers on board, uh, helping them with international skills. At the same time, we are uh, expanding our footprint across the country. So we are in the middle of launch in the U.S., um, uh, we are tying up with uh, school districts across the U.S. right now as we speak. And uh, we started interview processes for our graduates in the U.S. In fact, uh, just a couple of hours ago, I got a good news that one of our teachers uh, has been offered a salary of uh, $105,000 per annum. Uh, and she'll be joining soon. So these are the kind of growth plans that we have right now. Right. So, you know, big plans, are especially when it comes to expansion across the U.S., right? So, um, yeah. you know, we've been... The key thing that you're addressing is the global shortage of qualified educators and teachers, right? If you That's could sort right. of give us a sense of how big is this shortage, what's the kind of demand that you're seeing on your platform? If you could take us through, you know, uh, you just gave us one example, but the kind of yeah. success rates that you're seeing. Absolutely. So... To, to put things in perspective, 1% uh, of the world population are teachers. So that's how education structures work, right? So uh, overall, over uh, around the globe right now, uh, we stand at around 90 million plus teachers. And uh, as per United Nations and World Bank reports, uh, this does not mean that we have enough teachers. This means that we right now have a shortage of around 30 million plus teachers globally. Which means that with critical uh, areas which have critical shortages, uh, people are ready to pay higher salaries, but they want highly skilled teachers. Uh, if I talk U.S. alone, I think the official numbers put the U.S. teacher shortage to stand at around 200,000 teachers today, uh, with key uh, shortage areas being maths, uh, science, STEM subjects, and special education needs. So that's our focus as well right now, uh, considering that we have enough high-quality teachers who can teach STEM subjects uh, and can move to these different parts of the world. Right. So you've, you've even told us the key areas in which, you know, the teachers are in demand at this point. But if you could yeah. sort of give us a sense of your business model, where are your revenues at? And, you know, where do you hope sure. to close this year? What about profitability? So, so uh, while it's we are still uh, on day zero, uh, we're not in a place where we have large enough revenues to kind of announce right now. But... Uh, I can tell you that we are growing year on year. On year. Uh, we are getting more and more interest from teachers because there, ha there have been numerous hundreds of success stories. 
Um, how we are looking at the next year, or specifically now that we've raised the funds, is uh, we'll be looking at around uh, a couple hundred teachers moving from India to the US in the next uh, six, seven months. And that would fuel our growth for uh, US requirements, as well as uh, uh, imbibe more uh, imbibe us, imbibe more requirement for us to enroll more teachers. So that's how we look at the next six, seven months now right. that we've raised the funds. Right. So that's the plan from the from a six to seven month perspective. So how many teachers and schools do you have on your platform right now? And, you know, you yeah. said that you have a big need. Uh, US is one of your bigger markets. Are there yeah. any other geographies that you're looking at at this point? What's you know, what's the next stage of growth for you? Absolutely. So uh, currently we serve a couple of countries. Uh, UAE receives a lot of teachers from our platform. Uh, US is uh, coming up big. Uh, we see other countries in the Middle East uh, getting activated soon as well. Uh, on the number of teachers and on number of schools, so we use a very qualitative way of approaching this problem. We don't just go out marketing, advertising, while we do that, some part of that, but our main approach is to create enough value for schools and teachers in different parts of the world that they come and they interact with each other. They utilize, uh, you know, tools available on our platform and then organically become a member of our community. Uh, Overall, I think we have around half a million teachers on the platform today, wherein these teachers come for different uh, products, right? Uh, we have free AI tools for teachers. You know, what usually a teacher would spend, say, a couple of hours in building a lesson plan or an assessment plan with our AI tools, which are absolutely free, free for teachers today. Uh, they can do that in 15 to 20 seconds. So that attracts hundreds of thousands of teachers to come, out, come right. to our platform. Right. We also offer free master classes. We also offer uh, different tools for schools. So schools come and onboard their teachers, and then they see that there are high quality teachers available. So then they then take our recruitment so, uh, solutions and they want to hire more teachers from our platform because they know that if there's a teacher who's active on Sorasa platform has been continuously upskilling, they want teachers like that. Right. So that that's usually how the entire business model works. Uh, all right. Um... Uh, Rishabh, uh, thank you so much for taking time out and being with us on Startup Street. And we wish you all the best on this journey going forward. Thank you. Thank you so much, Anandi. Have a great day. You too. Moving on until 3 a.m.